Oh, my. Uh, since joining Coronation Street in 2011, Faye Windass has experienced her fair share of dramatic storylines. Well, later this month, she'll bid farewell to the cobbles to start a new life away from Weatherfield. Uh, actress Ellie Leach is here to tell us more in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back at some of her most iconic moments. I know I'm not. I can't be. No, this is not happening. It can't be happening. Ah! Oh, oh, what's the matter? Oh, oh. I don't feel any of those things you're supposed to feel. I don't want to be a mum. Can I give her a kiss goodbye? See ya. Oh, God! He was dead and you just left him. We panicked. How could you be so stupid? It wasn't that simple. No, it, it was, OK? But we thought we were getting into trouble. I've got premature ovarian failure. I'm not going to be able to have another baby. How could you do this to me? After all I did to protect you. Are you talking about the hit and run? I feel like going down to the station right now and telling them everything. Bye. Want us to live together, be a proper family. What's all this? Will you marry me? Faye? Yeah. Oh, well, Ellie Leach, who plays Faye, joins us now. It's lovely to have you here. There is a lot to pick through here, really, isn't yeah. there? I mean, you look back... I mean, she's grown up on this. You've grown know, up on this. So it must have been a really difficult decision to go, right, actually, time for something new. Yeah, yeah. I think it's been such a long time and it's been the most amazing time. I've had so much fun. And watching, watching that there, it's like, wow, she's been through... A lot. So, so much. Yeah. So much. And so, when you finish, because obviously this is a big thing for us, you, fit it, you leave a week on Wednesday. Yes. Um, but for you, you've had, what was that, five weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. So what was that last day, the last scene, the last moments like? Honestly, it was so emotional, but like happy, sad, excited, nervous, every emotion that you could possibly think of, yeah. it was... Amazing. Like, we didn't film... So, the last actual scene that's going to be on, we, we'd already filmed that. So, it was kind of like going back in back time. Back in time, yeah. But, yeah, it was so lovely. And, like, we got to the end of that scene and they shouted cut and I was like... Uh... I was fine all day. And then, as soon as he said cut, I was like, oh, my God, like, this wave of, like, emotion just hit me. Mm -hmm. And, like, there were so many people there. Like, my family came and cast were on the floor and crew and it was so, so lovely. Do they do what they do in, um, in America? Um, when they wrap someone and it's their last moment on a big production they, and everyone gives you a round of applause, say, that's a, uh, that's a rap fairly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was so, so nice. And as well, I didn't realise that... So they kept the cameras running, so they actually filmed all of that after the last scene had been cut. So that I've got all of that, um, you know, people saying, well done and sad to see you leave. And That's yeah, it was really, really it, emotional. Yeah. And yeah, it's amazing to have because you don't think that you're going to get that really. No, no, that is lovely to have. So, so what about her then? What are the circumstances around her leaving? And obviously we don't want to give away too many spoilers, but she definitely has some big decisions to make here, doesn't she? Yeah, definitely. I think for Faye, it's a decision between going with her head and going with her heart. I think her heart is with her daughter. It always yeah. has been. And I think that's why it, she struggled when Miley and Jackson first came back on the scene. I think that's why she struggled in saying that she didn't want to see her because she was scared about having that attachment and then having, like, to leave her again. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what's been so hard for her, definitely. And I think it's hard as well for Craig because she does love Craig, but I don't think she's in love with him mm. anymore and I think I think it just shows that like you can have so much love but love doesn't mean that it's everything yeah well, well not um, you should say that um that you had the character Ellie I mean you were the same age weren't yeah. you were 13 when you had Miley yeah um and then a daughter and Jackson father go off to Canada um and this is what's tripped everything up is because they came back yeah. at the same time you've got Craig and you're you know, you're getting closer and closer and closer to Craig. Um, and so there's a major issue. Um, so as you've left, um, we're assuming that you haven't stayed with Craig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think it's really hard. Like I was just saying, like, she, she loves him so much and she's got a lot of love for him, but she's not in love with him anymore. And I think it is really hard for her because she... 
wants to do the right thing by everybody. And I think that's always been the case for Faye. And I think she always puts everybody else before mm -hmm. herself. So I think now it's time for her to kind of put her feelings at the forefront. I mean, she could... The thing is, we're just literally trying to guess what's happening here. She's either going to disappear or there's also the secret isn't there? And in that clip we just showed there where Craig's like, well, I might just feel like going down and telling the police. Yeah. It's like, that's another way she could potentially go. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really weird because for Faye to kind of see that side of Craig, he's never... It's weird for us. Yeah. like Because we're not used to yeah, it. Yeah, and he's so, like, fun-loving and he's always, like, upbeat and wants to kind of see the positive in every situation. Yeah. And I think that's what's difficult for Faye is, like, she's seen this kind of, like, twist in him mm -hmm. and she's like oh, this could force me to stay, but this could also push me further yeah. away from him. Yeah. And the, the thing is that you and Colson, such... He was in here the other day, um, and he's such a lovely bloke. Yeah, exactly. And you are really good mates. Yeah. So not, not only sort of leaving the character or leaving the street, but... I mean, you'll see him, obviously, but yeah. leaving a, a good mate. Yeah, that's... I think that was the hardest part for me, is the fact that, like, on the last day, like, I seen... I had my last scene with him, and, like they said cut and I just turned to him and we oh. both just was like so emotional. And I think the hardest part about it is the fact that everyone there is so lovely and we yeah. all get on so well. And I think that's definitely what I'm going to miss the most. But I think I said to Colson, I was like, you'll probably see me more now <laughs> than you did when we was in work. So yeah, he's not getting rid of me that easily. Well, you also, when you left, took a few sort of memories home <laughs> with you, didn't you? What did yeah. you take? Yeah, so I took a few of Faye's clothes, which to be honest, I didn't think I was going to because she's not really got the best sense of style. <laughs> right. um, but yeah, I think I took like a few jumpers just to kind of remind me yeah. of Faye. But In I remember, book. yeah, I remember I, I had a coat on like a few weeks ago, put my hand in the pocket. I was like, what's that? And I pulled it out and it was a fake nail from when we filmed the Ted storyline, from the, the nail that went down his sink that oh. Craig had to go and get out of the sink. So I was like, I'm definitely taking that home. Got a green sparkly nail just stick yeah, on nail in, in my memory box. that back, that's yeah. odd yeah. too. No. So you could keep that. Where did that, that nail go? <laughs> I, I think you're all right with that. Um, so uh, can I ask if, if there is a door open and that you could go back? Yeah, yeah, there is. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful that that has happened because... Like I said, I've absolutely loved being there and Corrie will always be part of my life and Faye Windass will always be a part of me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful that that's kind of been left open for me. And for you, I mean, the world is your lobster, <laughs> as they don't say. Yeah. But you've got your, you know, you're a very young woman, you're a brilliant actress, and so you've got lots of exciting things to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I think when you're at Corrie, as amazing as it is, it is like a, a bubble. Mm -hmm. And you kind of forget that there's a whole world outside of there. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to kind of see what's going to happen. Well, you were so yeah. young when you went yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So I know, I was nine years old. Grown That's up in not, there. I know. That's crazy. Well, when you... Come back and tell us all about it, when you can, whatever it is. I'm we sure wish I will, you, wish yeah. you the best of luck. Corrie continues uh, tomorrow night at 8pm. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. Thank you so much.